Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. In talking about what you need in your 3D Pen Studio, we have covered quite a few heat tools. So what about this one? Why would you need a kettle in your studio other than for making coffee? Forming and reshaping your 3D Pen projects requires heat. There is an overview of heat forming methods in this video. If you need to know more, the link is in the description. Using heat is always about how much heat to add and where. Do you need to soften it all over? Boil it. Do you need to soften just one particular targeted part and nothing else? Steam it. Boiling water and steam have one important advantage. Control. It will soften your project, but not over melt it, because water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and 212 Fahrenheit and won't get any hotter. Which is enough to soften a project to form, but not completely melt the plastic. So you can shape with these methods, but not smooth, for example. Use gloves and common sense. It is hot enough to hurt you. Water bath will soften the plastic even before the water is boiling. For steam, you obviously need it fully boiling and it helps to have a controlled thin stream of steam. So you can target just the area you need to soften. Look for kettles with different sized spouts, lids with vents in them, or just unscrew the handle on a lid and use that opening as a vent. Boiling and steaming will also let you work with filament only without even having a 3D pen, as in the chains and chain mail videos, and will let you straighten the filament for all those projects where you need it straight. The full list of videos using these methods is in the description, so check it out. Oh, and yes, you can also make coffee. I think I will go and drink mine, since our two minutes are up. 